Meat Circus. They don't just know about a group called Meat Circus, except for the fact that they deal in drastic human body modifications. The resulting artworks seem to be put up for sale afterwards. Most of the Meat Circus creations share a common trait. Various inserts made of an unidentified black metal and Roman numerals tattooed on their skin. The Foundation's attention was first drawn to this group after their assault on the reducted mobile base in 2000 Beep. During their assault, Meat Circus members kidnapped numerous Foundation employees, including an MPF Edda Beep Hornet operative. Later that year, in March, two MTF operatives were found dead near Psych Beep, as well as one Dr. Beep still alive. The backs of their heads were shaved and tattooed with the letter F. Subsequently, Meat Circus members have confronted Foundation operatives several times. According to recent reports, Meat Circus consists of three departments. The first, called Mutators, are known to sculpt flesh like clay, creating creepy and bizarre chimeras. The second department, the Technicians, integrate various prostheses into the bodies of their creations, making them look like complex mechanisms. The third, called Mages, use mystical powers to breathe life into corpses. All three departments are competing with each other, trying to create the ultimate creation, the masterpiece. According to one legend, these departments were originated by three daughters of pain, semi-divine beings that strive for supremacy. Lefty Lefty is a pseudonym of an inventor whose identity is currently unknown. This nickname is borrowed from the classical Yuskov work about a talented craftsman from Tula who could shoe a flea. Lefty supplies criminal gangs with various anonymous devices and substances of supposedly his own design and manufacture. It is known that Lefty is aware of the Foundation, although there were no hostile actions directed towards the Foundation on his part. Nevertheless, capturing Lefty is a priority task for the Russian branch. A distinctive feature of Lefty's inventions are added notes that are written in a kind and benevolent manner. His standard signature is from Lefty with love. Logos Incorporated In the 1990s, as a result of negotiations between the SCP Foundation and the Global Occult Coalition, a project branded Logos was created as an enterprise to deal with anonymous events having psychological and large-scale social impact that can change the way of human life and all the human consciousness. As the Global Occult Coalition grew in power, it developed an independent doctrine of dealing with anomalies, with destruction being the first and foremost objective, completely against the Foundation's interests. In the turmoil of the active confrontation that followed, Logos Incorporated was left unattended as it was considered a low-priority project by the time. This turned out to be a mistake. During the period of independence, spanning at least deep years, the new GOI's priorities underwent a major change. They switched their focus to their own scientific progress in the fields of medicine, IT, psychology, and applied use of the technologies they developed. Grotto of the Gangrenous God The Grotto of the Gangrenous God is a common designation of a variety of sects that have risen within the Russian Federation during the last few decades, from the mid-1990s to present. At first sight, the Grotto of the Gangrenous God seems to be decentralized and divided into a variety of freestanding confessions, though, in spite of some differences, all the branches of the Grotto of the Gangrenous God have a number of common traits. The core of all the teachings is worshipping entropy in all of its forms and manifestations. This concept is impersonated on figures of the Gangrenous God and smaller deities called permutation portenders, who symbolize particular aspects of decay and disruption processes, 
in reference to destructive events, adepts often do self-mutilation, voluntarily infecting themselves with different diseases. Leprosy, in particular, is common, as well as consume spoiled food and organic waste. Among other similarities, there are similar cosmogonic models, aesthetics, extensive usage of alliterations and titles, and, in some cases, in speech and writing. Sometimes it turns into a specific form of glossolalia. The grotto of the Gregorian's god makes extensive use of anonymous artifacts in their religious activity, some or all of which are of extra-universal origin. A distinctive feature of most artifacts related to the Gregorian's god cult is their influence on mind, mainly in an aesthetic sense and perceived value. Usage of most artifacts is fraught with negative effects on health that are perceived in a manner and can cause addiction.